Disappointed is a strong enough word for the way Sabres fans are feeling. Yeah, tonight. definitely a little sad. Not, not a happy Easter for the Sabres. And a little controversy after the game between Sabres coach Rick Dudley and uh, Jerry Mean, the general manager. Word has it from Montreal that they disagreed on who exactly to play in this game. And Jerry Mean won. And uh, Rick Dudley not too happy about it. But the bottom line is the race for the Stanley Cup is over for the Sabres. In Montreal tonight, the Sabres were a game, but the, so were the Canadians. And with the home ice advantage, Patrick Waugh on net and five goals, the Canadians eliminate the Sabres, winning 5-2. Now, the Canadians scored first, but just a minute and a half later, the Sabres on the power play. Doug Bodger's blast is deflected in by Rick Vive, and it's 1-1. Darren Poopa hot early on. Here he robs Mike McPhee. Big time, great save, 1-1 one, one after 1. Second period, the Canadians, Brent Gilchrist to Shane Corson, back to Gilchrist in front. He scores 2-1 Montreal after 2. Third period, it's 3-1 Canadians when Dave Anderchuk hacks away in front and scores. The Sabres were back in it at 3-2. But a defensive lapse late that killed the Sabres. They watch Russ Courtnall is going to fly in here. Well, that was right there. You see the goal. They're back in it at 3-2, but Russ Courtnall... Flies in alone. He gets the puck off the boards and scores. That made it 4-2, and an empty, mate, empty netter made it 5-2. The Canadians take the series four games to two. Well, just as she's been throughout the entire series, our Brenda Brennan was with the Sabres tonight, and she files this report from Montreal. The Sabres gave it a valiant effort here at the Forum tonight, but their offense could only muster two goals, and they come home with a feeling they've had too often before. That's a little frustrating. But, uh, you know, we, we got, you know, all the talk about Carboneau and, um, and Turgeon matchup, but Carboneau was minus five or six in the series, and Turgeon was plus five or six. Had nobody else played, we would have won the series. And so I think that those guys, the guys like Turgeon and Andrew Chuck and Vive, they did their job. They scored points, they scored goals, and they did their job, and other guys didn't pick it up. Always in the playoffs, always in the playoffs, you have to have somebody else pick it up. Because you know your stars are going to be checked. We knew our stars were going to be checked. They knew their stars were going to be checked. And they got a little bit of production in the last two games from other people, and we didn't. We didn't come in and skate today. We had a big meeting instead, and we talked about that, that uh, maybe Riche gonna, might be get shut down tonight, and uh, if we can shut Turgeon down and maybe get some scoring from somebody else, and uh, the guys who agreed with that, that we had to get scoring from somebody else besides Riche or, or the, that big line. They kept coming at us. They got a good hockey club, and uh, they never gave up. And I know there's a lot of guys on our side that are really tired and bruised, and I'm sure there's the same thing in Buffalo. And uh, we're happy it's over. Uh, it was a tough series, and uh, I can't say enough about not wanting to go back to Buffalo. You know, we had a terrible win in there all year, and uh, we came up big in the playoffs, won there a couple games. The Sabres have not gotten by the first round of the playoffs since 1983. So while they pack their bags and call it a season, the Canadiens will move on to play the winner of the Boston Hartford series. At the Montreal Forum, Brenda Brennan, Channel 7, Eyewitness Sports. So there again, you see the final 5-2 Montreal vibe. Andrew Chuck uh, score for the Sabres, but Montreal takes the series 4-2. Now, as Brenda said, the Canadians move on in the playoffs to play either the Bruins or the Whalers.